Hello everyone, my name is David Richard from Weekly Tools, welcome back to our channel, today, we're going to talk about a common issue that many car owners face the PO for 000 bd 2 code. If you've ever seen this code on your vehicle's diagnostic scanner, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll explain what the PO400 code means, its potential causes, and most importantly, how to fix it. So, let's dive right in. First things first, let's clarify what the PO400 code actually means. PO400 is a generic OBD2 code, which stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation Flow Malfunction. In simple terms, it indicates that there's an issue with the exhaust gas recirculation EGR system in your vehicle. The EGR system is crucial for reducing emissions and improving fuel efficiency. Potential causes of PO400 code host. Now that we know what the PO400 code signifies, let's explore some of the potential causes for this issue. Keep in mind that these causes may vary depending on your vehicle's make and model, but the most common ones include EGR valve malfunction, clogged EGR passage, faulty EGR position sensor, wiring or electrical issues, vacuum leaks. Before we get into the step-by-step -step process of fixing the PO400 code, let's gather the tools and parts you might need. OBD2 scanner, basic hand tools wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, replacement EGR valve if necessary. All right, let's get down to business. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to fix the PO400 OBD2 code. Diagnose the issue. Use your OBD2 scanner to confirm that the PO400 code is indeed the problem. Check for any other codes that might give you additional information about the issue. Inspect the EGR valve. Start by inspecting the EGR valve. Look for any signs of damage or carbon buildup. If it's visibly clogged or damaged, it may need replacement. Clean EGR passages. If the EGR valve is in good condition, but you suspect a clogged EGR passage, remove and clean it thoroughly. You can use a combination of a cleaning solution and a wire brush. Replace faulty components. If you identify a faulty EGR valve or EGR position sensor, replace them with new ones. Make sure to use the appropriate parts for your vehicle. Clear the error code. After making the necessary repairs, use your OBD to scanner to clear the PO400 code. This will reset the check engine light test drive. Take your vehicle for a test drive to ensure that the issue is resolved. Monitor the OBD2 scanner for any new error codes or irregularities. Let's go over some additional tips and troubleshooting steps that can help you address the PO400 code effectively. Routine maintenance. Regular maintenance can prevent EGR system issues. Follow your manufacturer's recommended maintenance schedule, including cleaning or replacing the EGR valve at specified intervals. Use a high-quality cleaner. When cleaning the EGR passages, use a high-quality EGR cleaner to ensure thorough removal of carbon deposits. Follow the product's instructions carefully. Who can perform more advanced diagnostics preventative measures? To prevent future occurrences of the PO400 code, consider installing an EGR valve block-off plate or an EGR delete kit if it's legal and acceptable in your area. However, be aware that this may affect your vehicle's emissions and legality in some regions. Stay informed. Stay informed about recalls or technical service bulletins related to your vehicle. Sometimes automakers issue recalls or service updates to address known issues with EGR systems. Check with your vehicle's manufacturer for any available solutions. Regularly check for vacuum leaks. Vacuum leaks can also cause EGR system problems. Inspect your vehicle's vacuum hoses and connections for any cracks, leaks, or loose fittings. Replace or repair as needed. With these additional tips and troubleshooting steps, you should be well equipped to tackle the PO400 OBD to code and maintain a healthy EGR system in your vehicle. Remember, safety comes first. So if you're unsure about any aspect of these repairs or if the issue persists, it's always a good idea to consult a professional mechanic. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with fellow car enthusiasts. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy and safe.